Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG on downloading and installing media profiles for Roland VersaWorks. There's a number of places that you can get your profiles from. You can either get them directly through Roland or from your media manufacturers. I'm going to show you how to get them through Roland and then we'll show you how to install them into Roland VersaWorks. From the VersaWorks home screen it's possible to go to the help menu along the top and there's a link here that says VersaWorks online. If you click on this you will need to be connected to the internet but it's going to take you to this website where it says at the top Roland VersaWorks online. Down here under download if we go to ICC profiles for third party media and click on the link we're now going to be taken to this page here from the media profiles box down on the bottom left here if we select third party media it's then going to say third party media please choose your ink type we need to input this information to make sure that you get the correct profile for the machine that you're using uh, I'm going to download some profiles for the SP540i which I'm using in VersaWorks at the moment so if I choose Eco Soul Max Inc I will then need to input the RIP software that I'm using, so Roland VersaWorks. And we just need to agree to this Roland license agreement as these are third party profiles. I can now choose the machine that I'm using. So, as I said, I'm going to be using the SP540i. You can choose your machine appropriately. Depending on which machine you choose, you'll be asked to choose your ink configuration with the SP. We only have um, CMYK configuration, so it didn't go to that stage for me. And here we can see ICC profiles for Eco Soul Max with VersaWorks and the SP540i. If I scroll down, here we have a list of manufacturers on the left hand side, the material code name, the download link, and here we have the print modes that are available for that download, for that profile. So we have high quality, standard and high speed. Under type we have a description of the media and on the right hand side here we have the calibration value for that media profile. So if I choose any one of these different materials I'm just going to choose the very top one. So choose the download link it's going to download a zip file with the media profile in. If I save this file, I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. What you'll then need to do is to extract the file from the zip. So I'm just going to head to my desktop and extract the file. It doesn't matter for the location of where you put the download at the moment because once you have installed it you can actually down delete the original download. So I've extracted that onto my desktop now. And now if we go to the media menu along the top of the screen here, we can go to our media explorer. And this is where all of the profiles are located for the device that you have connected. So here we can see the generic profiles that come as standard with the printer. But we're going to install our new download. So if we hit head at the top here to load from file, and if I go to desktop, oh, I head to my desktop, I can then choose the file, the folder that I extracted from the zip, and within that folder we have what's an, called an RML file. If I select open, a pop-up window will come up as some of the profile downloads actually contain more than one profile. This one just contains one. If I click on OK, you'll see that the new profile has come in at the bottom of the list here 
and it has a blue box around the roll on the left hand side. Now if I select OK and say yes to the changes, if I now bring in a job, and open up the settings, when I go to the quality tab, under the media type, at the bottom of the list here, I have my new media which I can select to print on. And that's how you install new profiles into Roland VersaWorks. Thank you.